After another unproductive meeting with time wasted, tax dollars wasted, nothing has come out except for Social Security still being at risk. Although there is one new plan that has been introduced, which means that there's a binding legal requirement to pay Social Security and Medicare recipients by President Biden. By doing this new plan, it may cause a lot of controversy, cause a lot of friction between the Democrats and Republicans, but this could be one way to save save Social Security amid the debt ceiling crisis and the debt ceiling talks, which honestly aren't going anywhere, especially since President Biden is out of the country, which means no more meetings until he gets back in the country with the deadline exactly two weeks away on June 1st. So when it comes to Social Security, I'll let you know where that stands as of now, along with the debt ceiling talks and give you some other important updates. President Biden and Kevin McCarthy meet again, but what came out of the meeting? Nothing. There's nothing. We're not moving any more closer to our June 1st deadline with no legislation introduced, no deal. The only thing that has come out of it is that there is a structure for negotiating. So Biden, McCarthy, push forward toward deal on U.S. debt ceiling. I'm going to play a quick video clip of what President Biden says in a moment and what's coming out of these meetings and where they stand. I'll also play a video clip from Kevin McCarthy, the speaker. So I'm going to give you both perspectives in a moment. Uh, but yeah, after months of Kevin McCarthy, actually what he said is over 100 days, constantly requesting President Biden to have this meeting looks like there is still no meeting and or no no negotiation no deal and they're not even close to it with less than two weeks now this comes at a really tough time because president biden embarks on abbreviated overseas trip as debt ceiling deadline looms now what does president biden have to say about this with the june 1st deadline which could cause catastrophic results, not just for Social Security, Medicare, military, but the entire economy may collapse as a result of this. It'll cause a big earth-shaking uh, wave across the world as the U.S. dollar may crumble as well. Uh, so take a look at what President Biden has to say. Leave. I wanted to say a word about the status of negotiations with the congressional leaders. <clears throat> we had a productive meeting yesterday and uh, with all four leaders in the Congress. It was civil and respectful, and everyone came to the meeting, I think, in good faith. I'm confident that we'll get the agreement on the budget that America will not default. And uh, every leader in the room understands the consequences that we fail to pay our bills. And it would be catastrophic for the, uh, for the American economy and the American people <clears throat> if we didn't pay our bills. I'm going to cut him off there. He just goes on for another two or three minutes saying that it is going to get done. It's very important. Really nothing more substantial than that. Uh, when it comes to the other side of it and a new plan coming out, I'll mention that in a moment, the GOP proposal to raise the debt ceiling would force Americans on Social Security and Medicare to wait longer to receive help and make college more expensive. The White House says. So this is the rebuttal from the White House with the GOP uh, to the GOP plan. So Office of Management and Budget released a memo outlining the impacts of the GOP debt ceiling plan. Under various scenarios, the OMB estimated federal programs could be cut by 30%. That would include customer service times for Americans receiving Medicare and Social Security. Uh, among many other things. So along with it, the GOP's latest line on spending is that it wants to maintain the same funding levels as fiscal year 2022. That level of funding is reflected in their narrowly passed House bill to raise the debt ceiling just one year. The bill includes a long list of proposed spending cuts and changes to federal programs, including banning student loan forgiveness and raising work requirements to access social welfare programs. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on uh, student loan forgiveness being canceled? Although it's not really going on right now, but it wouldn't be on the table or happen anytime in the future. And then re uh, have work requirements for Medicare as well as other well, uh, social welfare programs. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, what's said here is House Republicans can do this math as well as anyone. They're absolutely aware of these calculations. Uh, so when it comes to the uh, another plan, right? So that's the Republican plan. On the Democrat side, a little bit more of the uh, the 
you know, the far left, Democratic Rep. Jamie Raskin pushes back on Biden's concerns that using the 14th Amendment to solve the debt ceiling crisis would land administration in court, saying there is a binding legal requirement to pay Social Security and Medicare recipients. So um, Representative Jamie Raskin told Insider in an interview that Biden should use the 14th Amendment to solve the debt ceiling crisis. The 14th Amendment would declare the debt ceiling unconstitutional and get rid of it forever, meaning that uh, rather than argue about the debt ceiling, there just would never be a debt ceiling. It would be uh, an unlimited credit card, no max, no maxing out of the credit card. And then Biden expressed concerns with that route to, due to potential litigation that could come from it. So, uh, yeah, the Fourteenth Amendment basically you just get rid of the debt ceiling, say it's unconstitutional, and that's it because there is a legal requirement to pay Social Security, Medicare. If the debt ceiling is not reached, then Social Security, Medicare. Uh, will not be paid, although there is funds in the bank account, uh, it's not going to receive any more funds, which means the funds would run out, which means there would be delays, could be cuts, uh, could get really ugly. So uh, when it comes to uh, another article on Social Security, really curious your thoughts on this. So there was a poll done, almost 8 in 10 people oppose raising the full retirement age for Social Security. Should the age of retirement be raised? Are people living longer? Should it be raised to a higher age? Or should it stay the same way as it is because people work really hard throughout their life and they deserve to get Social Security uh, at the age that it is right now? Uh, So 78% of adults found that are opposed to proposals that would raise the full retirement age for social security benefits from age 67 to 70. What do you think? Yes or no? Let me know down in the comments below. When it comes to the Republican perspective on the debt ceiling, where we stand, take a look at what Kevin McCarthy has to say. Over 100 days ago, I started reaching out to you and saying, Mr. Speaker, any update on the debt ceiling? Mr. Speaker, any update? You had that one meeting 104 days ago Uh, and Joe Biden said he would not negotiate. You reached out to him almost daily, if I'm not mistaken. So you knew the debt ceiling deadline was coming. You passed a really responsible bill. Tell me how the negotiations are going, and do you think your caucus is willing to give up a really good bill in exchange for Joe Biden betting that you'd never get that bill passed? Well, first of all, Sean, thank you for your help, and thank you to all the viewers, and especially to all the Republican members in the House and in the Senate, because they have heard, held firm together. You are right. On February 1st, I sat down with the president saying, let's negotiate a debt ceiling increase, but also change the trajectory of the money that we're spending. we got to stop just this runaway spending. And he ignored us for 105 days. But because we united, we were able to pass a bill, we got in to where we had a meeting. The president said all along he would not negotiate, and you'd had to just increase the debt ceiling. He and Chuck Schumer said that. Yesterday was a breakthrough. They acknowledged that it's no longer a position they can hold, and now they've appointed two of their uh, administrative people to work with our staff to work to try to find and solve this problem. But, you know, we've been very clear, Sean. Um, You can't keep raising the debt ceiling. It's like having your child have a credit card, and year after year after year, you keep reaching the limit, and you just keep expanding it, expanding it. Well, there comes a point where your credit card now costs you more than all the money you make in a year, bigger than your entire economy. You're responsible for paying it, but shouldn't you actually look how you're spending money? So, a limit, save, grow. We limit how much we spend in the future. We save money by pulling back that COVID money that wasn't spent. We put in work requirements. This is only for able-bodied people with no dependents. It helps them take them from poverty to jobs, helps them get out of that poverty mess. And then we look at places that we could cut the red tape so we could build things in America again. We become energy independent. That's just a few of the things. We've also, Sean, remember what we put in here, cutting those 87,000 IRS agents. A lot of good ideas to be able to raise the debt ceiling, but actually put an economy that's stronger, less dependent on China. Mr. Speaker, you were able you were able to pass this by a margin of only two votes. You don't have that big a margin to play with in the House. So you only have 14 days to go, and I think the budget is really responsible. You raise the debt ceiling. 
You bring spending back to 2022 levels. You reduce baseline budgeting increases to, what, 1% a year. Yes. Uh, the CBO scores it out at $4.8 trillion saved over 10 years. That, to me, is fiscal responsibility and all the other things that you mentioned. Now, let's say that Biden says, this is my final offer, and you bring that deal back to your caucus. Do you think you're going to get a majority in your caucus to go along with this late-minute deal after he wouldn't even talk to you for 100 days? Sean, I believe we can if we come to a good agreement, because think of this. We, the president said he wasn't going to negotiate. We were just going to raise the debt ceiling. First of all, we have just now been able to have a victory. The president can no longer say that. So, no, the debt ceiling will not get raised with no changes. If we get a fundamental change where we get a cap in what we're spending, that's trillions of dollars saving. If we change the trajectory where we get work requirements, that's the biggest welfare reform we've had since Bill Clinton signed the bill. If we're able to get savings where we're spending less, that will be the biggest cut since Ronald Reagan. This is an idea that Republicans have stuck together in the House and the Senate. We're going to have to realize when we can declare victory and show the American public when we stick together, we can win and make America stronger. So I like to share both views, gave you President Biden, gave you Kevin McCarthy. Even though they're meeting with each other in face, they still kind of bash each other in the media. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on all that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi, guys. So my name is Bella. This is the tip of the day. Do the, if you make a mistake, then it's okay. You learn from your mistake and makes you a better person. So it's okay. It's okay. We, we still love you. We like you a lot. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. So today is day seven of my carnivore diet. Not getting the results that I wanted. Maybe I'm being a little impatient. I was doing it hopefully to help my breathing issues, my breathing allergies. As you can tell, I'm probably still a little stuffy, a little nasally. Uh, I was hoping I heard that this type of diet helps with that. I haven't, uh, you know, I'm not trying to lose weight or anything, but just trying to get rid of these allergies. So far, not seeing the best results, but I think I have to do another week of it. So I'm going to do another week of this. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, if you want to check out any of my other videos, click right up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.